Thank you. It's good to be here. Um, I welcome all of you, even though we you can see me and I can't see you energetically. I can feel that you are there listening and receptive, I think, really. And um, I feel very blessed to join you in meditation today. And I bow to the light within each of you that is in each of us. Uh, let us begin to find stillness today by paying attention to our bodies. And you can be in any, any position that's comfortable for you. You can be sitting straight up. You can be leaning against something. You can be lying down. Lying down has the risk of falling asleep, but eventually you wake up and you can decide maybe that's not the position for you. So um, it's almost like in the morning how I go to the window to check the weather and see what the day looks like. What is the mood outside? And what is the mood inside of me? So we're starting with the level of the body. And I'd like to just encourage you to notice your breathing. You don't need to change your breathing in any way. But simply notice. Can you feel your belly rising and falling? Through no initiative of your own, we are breathed. And it goes on for our whole lives. So we're breathing. And we're noticing our body with our breath. And you can almost think of like the sun or a beautiful light shining down upon the top of your head and permeating through your whole body slowly, illuminating the sensations that are present. And even a lack of sensation is noteworthy. Like I don't feel anything in this part of my body. Good. And sometimes we become aware of places of holding in our body that we weren't even aware of before. And as you find such a place, simply breathe, aim the breath towards it and breathe in and out of that place. And we may feel ourselves slowing down from the pace of our daily life. And even letting go. It is our time to be with our breath in meditation. It's 
See if you can feel the effects of gravity upon you, holding you down to the planet. and exerting a pull that keeps you here on Earth. If you hear distracting noises, you can let them just redirect you towards your breathing. In that way, they are help, really. And as you feel the gravity, the gravitational pull, you may find yourself relaxing or beginning to relax. And all the holdings that the body has in daily life as we deal with all kinds of situations, no longer need to hold on. So we'll take a few minutes to just quietly breathe, aware of our sensations in our body and our breathing. Rising and falling of the breath. Notice, does your body feel differently to you than before we began? And if so, how? And breathe into the sensations that are pleasurable. This is part of how we get grounded in our bodies. Since much of the time we're not aware that we are in bodies, at least most of us. And in this way, the body is a home. so that we can come back to our breathing through the body. The body is an ally in meditating. It holds space for us. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's pay attention even more deeply to our breathing. There will be thoughts and feelings, dreams and memories and daydreams that come to us. Our minds are drawn toward them. But the direction in which we want to proceed is towards our breath and our hearts. So it is, of course, natural to the nature of mind that we'll get caught by any of these thoughts or feelings or daydreams or longings. And these things matter, so we don't want to try to get rid of them. We don't need to try to go blank. We can simply note them and tell them that we'll give attention to them later after we're done meditating. Breathing. In and out, in and out. Each time we find ourselves awaken again to what we're doing, watching our breathing, being with our bodies each time we have come home again. And that is a great thing. The more we practice, the more quickly we will return to our breath. And this will create a state of great mindfulness from which to live our lives. So know that you're doing a very precious thing by meditating today. And it's amazing, really, how the breath just keeps going without us having to effort in any way. So let's follow our breath. Following our breath means that we will be pulled away from it and that we will awaken again to the reality and the gift of being able to breathe. This can have a very calming effect upon us.
the breath can feel like an anchor that we return to, that we can trust will keep going for as long as we're alive, that we can find refuge in. There is nothing that we have to do simply to pay attention to the rising and falling of our bellies. We can allow ourselves to sink more deeply into a peaceful, calm state. Which someday can become our home. That with everything that happens, we first pay attention to our breathing. and allow it to settle. You may feel sensations of tingling, of warmth or coolness. Of wondering whether you're doing it right. And not to worry. The very fact that you've chosen to practice this is a wonderful thing. This is a different kind of place that we are inhabiting. Different than most other times in our life. Period. My consciousness is reaching out to each one of you, wanting to know how you're doing with this journey. Perhaps we can release the judging mind. No passing, no failing, just right effort.
And so we're all breathing together, not at the same time, but together. And that can support our practice. And now, continuing in the space we are in, I'd like to lead a practice of gratitude for our bodies. So we start by sending energy to our foreheads. Where so much mental activity goes on. What would we do without our brains? I am grateful for my brain. For it allows me to be alive and be a person. and our hearts that are beating. How grateful we are to have beating hearts. We can direct the breath towards our hearts and breathe in and out of the physical heart and the emotional heart. We are thankful for our hearts that keep us alive. And for now, we can let go of our anxieties, our fears, our conflicts, and our anger. So let's just take a few minutes to breathe in and out of our hearts. See what you notice about that for yourself. And now we can send love to our precious eyes. Without these eyes, we would not see all that is before us. Think of the pleasure of seeing.
and the usefulness of it. Thank you, my eyes. You get tired sometimes. So I breathe into you and out of you. And for my ears, without them I would not hear music and all other sounds, the sounds of voices. It is a gift to have my ears. And let's breathe in and out of our precious ears. and our tongues that allow us to speak and taste oh so many things I am thankful for my tongue and how it serves me so breathing in and out of our tongues in deep appreciation. And then we progress into our chests and our bellies. Feeling the belly be soft feeling the rise and fall of the belly as we are breathed. So we breathe in and out of the belly. Letting it soften. And my arms and my hands and my precious fingers. We are grateful to have these parts of our body. Not everybody does. And so we express gratitude to our arms and our hands and our fingers as we breathe in and out of our arms and hands and fingers. What a miracle it is to be a human being, as hard as it can be sometimes. And now we turn our attention to our pelvic region appreciating all that this area allows us to do and experience. And we can breathe in and out of that sacred place.
And now we bring our attention to our legs. Without them, we would not be able to stand or walk. So we express our gratitude for our legs and the mobility they give us that is so precious. Breathing in and out of our legs. And if there are places of pain, let's send our breath especially there with the thought of healing. and our ankles, our precious ankles that allow us to pivot and turn and raise up and go down. We are grateful for our ankles, which are part of our mobility. Thank you, my ankles. and our feet that hold us up. Thank you, our feet, for carrying us places. For being there for us. and our toes that can grip things and surfaces. Thank you for our toes. I send my love to my body which carries me through life. Even though I'm not aware of it a lot of the time. and we're breathing. Into this place of soft belly. this place of support. I give thanks to for my awareness that can contemplate my body.
I thank my body so deeply with all that we have gone through together. Dropping in more deeply to our awareness of our breath. Notice in whatever is present for you in this moment. No need to judge. Simply to witness. I can feel you all there. Together, we support each other in this practice. Breathing. Noticing. And in a few minutes, it will be time to come out of meditation. And I find it best to do it mindfully, by which I mean that we begin to bring our attention to our bodies again, how they feel, the sensations throughout. And we begin to inhale a little more deeply with a breathing that may feel cool, that brings us to greater alertness and awareness of where we are now. So let's just do that breathing together. more and more refreshed as we breathe in, getting ready to greet whatever we are going to do next. Taking with us the solace, the comfort, the clarification of this meditation.
I thank you for your deep attention and mindfulness. It supports my own. And I wanted to mention that the relaxation of the body and thankfulness of the body meditation that we did was inspired by Sister Chan Kong, who was the closest person to the Vietnamese teacher Thich Nhat Hanh. And I still remember how it felt when she did this meditation with us. And how it awakened me to my body in a new way. So I wish you all well. And let's just keep focusing on the breath. I bow to you all. <clears throat>